pieces here.
which I mentioned before, and it says, Raphael, the school of Athens from 1511. The school of Athens depicts all the greatest philosophers and scientists. They lived at different times, but they all had dedication to science and knowledge. It's quite interesting that some of characters' face features remind Raphael's contemporaries, such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and many others. Not sure that's quite written perfectly, but it is understandable at least. The artist also portrayed himself as Aphelis, a painter of ancient Greece. It is obvious that philosophers are in the middle of discussion, even though Socrates, or is that Socrates? <laughs> I'm getting mixed up from the uh, Bill and Ted excellent adventure movie. <laughs> I do believe it's Socrates. Socrates said once that truth was born in it to dispute. Socrates said once that truth was born in a dispute. Later he replaced the word dispute with discussion. It is possible to find answers to the most important questions and get knowledge only during a polite conversation. <laughs> Anytime I think of Socrates, I think of Bill and Ted. If you've ever seen that movie, it's really funny. It's where they travel back in time and pick up various historical figures for their history report. And Socrates is one of them. And the way they communicate with him is to say, I think the line was, all we are is dust in the wind, dude. It's quite funny. And he looks utterly perplexed by these two characters. You should check that out if you've never seen it. And it goes on to say, Raphael was only 28 when he finished the painting. In such a young age, he created a true masterpiece. The school of Athens is considered one of the best works of the Renaissance. The painting is displayed in the Apostolic Palace. I'm not sure if I've got that right. Apostolic Palace in Vatican, which is an official residence of the Pope. Yes, yeah, so the Pope lives in Vatican City, which is in Italy, I believe. So here we have the painting, the School of Athens by Raphael. And we can see all the different philosophers here doing a whole variety of things. I'm not sure I could actually name any of them, but they're doing. So this guy here, he's got his book and he's taking some notes. We've got this guy in the corner who's obviously trying to copy him. Maybe they had a, a report due. And this guy, he doesn't know exactly what to do and he's copying this guy. In fact, this person here is also trying to copy him. And this person has caught him copying and he's kind of giving him a dirty look as if to say, what are you doing? We have another person here who's also trying to have a look at what he's doing. This guy here is kind of bored. He's the sort of person who in school can't really be bothered. He just 
See you.